Hello everyone, I just want to make this short video to show you guys what is made of these styles of chips. Now these styles of chips can be found pretty commonly on a lot of electronic, high grade electronics like servers and other components such as that. And I just want to show you what kind of things are made of these kind of things and why you should save these chips. So basically this one was found in a slot processor, specifically a Pentium 2 processor. For example, here's one. It's different from a regular processor because they don't have any pins. They're just like a connector strip that plugs right into the board with no socket. So it just looks like a regular slot. So that's why I call it a slot processor. And I just want to show you guys why you should save these types of chips. So once again, here's the chip. And the top part has a very high temperature solder, so it's particularly difficult to remove with a heat gun, but it is possible. And here what it looks like without the lid. So this particular one here had some MLCCs, which I just popped off. Well, other than that, there's really not that much different. And these are quite similar to MMX processors, because... This is a fiber edges here that have all the pins. Instead, have instead some solder balls. So it's like a ball grid array style. And on the bottom part, like if you've taken part an MMX ceramic hybrid chip that has both ceramic center and a fiber outer edges, like so. Except this isn't ceramic. There's no ceramic in this one, but this is very similar to one you'll find this black, thick black potting compound. It's very hard to break into, but it's best to use a chisel and a hammer, like what is shown in one of Geo's videos, I believe. I check him out. You had the time. And whenever you break apart this ceramic uh, potting compound in the middle, you'll come across a pretty nice surprise. So here's the front of one I've already done. I should see it's transparent. It's completely gone in the middle. Flip it over, and you got yourself a lot of gold plating all throughout the inside. There's even a little bit of the black potting compound I wasn't able to remove. But these are basically nice sources of high yielding gold plate. And I'm going to go ahead and get you a lens just to see it in more detail. Okay, so this is a little lens here, but you can see a little better that there's all these little gold-plated traces all throughout the inside. And there could be gold bonding wires and such in the black ceramic, so whenever you break this apart, save the black part because there could be hidden extra values. So I just wanted to show that to you guys and get you informed about this type of chip and why you should collect it and save it so yeah thanks for watching and i hope you found this video interesting take care and have a good day